The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint. And also brought to you by Maxima Fishing Line. Hey folks, Fred Golafaro here for the Fisherman's Video Fishing Forecast and uh, plenty of good striper action spread from one end of the island to the other now. I spoke to Vinny at Bernie's Bait and Tackle in Sheepshead Bay. Uh, he told a solid bass action. That Raritan Bay bite uh, picked up again after a couple of slow days last week. That's pretty hot. Um, they're catching fish from the Rockaways to Breezy Point on the beach and also out in the boats. Um, Jamaica Bay's got a good good body of fish now, mostly small, but a few bigger fish starting to mix in. And there's uh, some scattered bluefish also uh, in the area. Uh, flounder fishing's decent in Jamaica Bay as well. And uh, speaking of Jamaica Bay, don't forget the uh, Jamaica Bay Kayak Classic. Uh, that's coming up May 12th to the 15th. You must pre-register. You cannot register at the event uh, this year. So pre-registration is important. Um, it is the biggest kayak event in the region. Uh, you can call Captain Kayak for more details at 631-750-3587 or go to captainkayak.com slash tournaments. Uh, down along the south shore, uh, trolling spoons and mojo rigs is producing a pick of uh, decent sized bass and some blues in 40 to 50 feet of water. That's mostly between Debs and Jones Inlets. Um, spoke to Jose at Saltwater's Tackle in West Islip. Uh, good bass fish in the Fire Island area, especially if you're doling out clam chum on the west bar. That seems to be the best of it and producing a decent amount of keepers as well. Uh, there's also some fish back at the Moses Bridge, and they're also taking clams, but you can also catch them on soft plastics. Uh, clam, chum, uh, clam chum, also working on flounder. West Channel's been the hot spot for flounder, and that continues right up until the last day or two. Uh, so you might want to give that a shot if you're out of Fire Island. Uh, I spoke to Craig at Smith Point Bait and Tackle. Uh, good numbers of small bass inside the bay, all the bay shoreline spots, and also at the Smith Point Bridge. And he said they're getting a smattering of cocktail blues on 007s and small poppers. That blue fishing's really overdue to break loose. Everything seems to be scattered around, uh, you know, a few fish here, a few fish there. Uh, that main body of fish still really hasn't hit the inlet, which, uh, which I find surprising at this point. Um, out in Montauk, uh, good bass fishing. Uh, normally this time of the year, it's pretty much restricted to ditch plains. Those fish have been spread around the point, down the south side, under the light, along the north side. That's been going on for well over a week. Uh, most of that's on bucktails. Uh, spoke to Larry Welcome from North Bar Tackle. Uh, Larry makes some really nice plugs. He's been fishing hard up on the North Fork, again, inside the bay, fishing the bay side of the North Fork. He had one session with 50 fish up to 12 pounds, most of them on bucktails, a few on pencil poppers. Uh, in the Western Sound, uh, again, uh, some good bass fishing. They're in all the bays and harbors now, with some bigger fish out in the sound uh, for those chunk and bunker. And, uh, and decent flounder action also on the Western Sound, especially when you get towards that city island area. Um, <coughs> if you're wondering about weak fish, I finally got a good report on weak fish. Uh, there was a good shot in the Shinnecock Canal on Sunday afternoon. Uh, John Padawano and Bob Antisi had a dozen fish apiece. No big fish, like three to four pounds, but that's still real good action. They also had a bunch of bass and some fluke to 21 inches. And I can tell you from personal experience, uh, the fish were not there on Monday. That's right, I was there. It was uh, down to sea robins and some small fluke. but. Uh, that fishery, they just got to be there when those fish come through. They come through in, in big schools, and if you're there at the right time, you can do very well. <clears throat> hey, don't forget, porgy season opens Sunday. Uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting for, for that to happen. Um, it's going to open with a 10-inch size limit and a 30-fish 30 uh, fish bag limit. And uh, J&H is hosting Pure Fishing Day on Saturday. That's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can chat with tackle reps from Penn, Shakespeare, Abu Garcia, all the pure fishing guys, Berkeley. Um, they're going to have some great deals on uh, pure fishing products. And uh, yeah, definitely if you're not out fishing, probably worth stopping by if you're still looking to stock up on tackle. 
And until next week, you know, make some time to fish, get out, and I'm Fred Golofaro for the Fisherman.com. The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency and Intellux Marine Paint. And also brought to you by Maxima Fishing Line.